All right, first of all, thank you for being here, guys. Uh, obviously, the weather out there is uh, frightful. Um, so, we did multiple things well in this game. Our basket protection improved. Not only do we have seven blocks, but I think we took five charges. Um, we got we out rebounded by 18. So I don't think I've ever been part of a basketball program or a team that's out rebounded someone by 18. It's a great number. Um, our free throw shooting has certainly improved. 85% is a great number. So uh, we're making progress. We have a long way to go. Uh, but pleased with some of those things that happened. Speaking about the offensive fouls and the charges that your team took, Josh Cologne in the first half took two in a row, I believe, and he also splashed down a couple three-pointers. Is that your goal, to put him in the game early and have him just kind of do his thing? Well, Josh played very well for us down in the Virgin Islands. And uh, also there was a game in here where he took two, two charges earlier in the year. So it's something he's shown that he can do. Uh, he takes them not only um, – around the basket but also on the ball so really pleased to see Josh play well and he he has added a lot to our team since the Grand Canyon game and coach this, this is a type of game where you might find yourself being a bit complacent coming back from the Virgin Islands to face an Eastern Shore team that that is winless however they faced a bunch of good teams how happy were you to see that your team was never content with the lead that they continued putting the the proverbial foot on the Hawks throw and they were able to keep that big lead and sustain it throughout yeah, the The biggest message we had for our team, um, you know, coming back from the Virgin Islands was simply that, you know, it's time for us to start playing better. So we were coming off of a loss, you know, obviously we competed really well with Western Kentucky. Um, we were down three with the ball with under 30 seconds. So we had a chance to win the game. Um, so I actually wasn't concerned about that at all. Um, and, and also, you know, when Eastern Shore was in here about five or six years ago, they beat Fordham. So, you know, our, our team has to get up and compete, and to hold the team to 15 in the first half uh, was was the right thing to do. Do you have conversations with Chuba in practice saying, like, hey, you're the guy. You go down low, we're going to feed you. Just do your thing, go to work. And uh, how, how impressed were you to see him? 18 points, 11 rebounds, played well defensively all around. Yeah, so the answer is no meaning um, we've really focused this year on getting the ball inside to Oni and to Joel. Um, all of Chuba's aggression and choices of shots, that's all him. That's not me telling him to be aggressive. He is just very eager to shoot the ball. And coach, another player who played well down in the Virgin Islands, Jalen Cobb, had a good game against Nevada, a career high. Just when you've seen him today, he had five assists, five rebounds, and he really brings a swagger to that defense on the perimeter. His hands always there, almost like a strong safety, getting interceptions and, and really calling out things to Cologne and to Portly. But what have you seen from Jalen Cobb today and down in the Virgin, Virgin Islands? Excuse yeah, me. so Jalen is one of our experienced guys. He logged a lot of minutes last year. Uh, the phrase Swiss Army knife has been used to describe him because he can pass the ball. He's athletic enough to rebound. Very good in transition. He steals the ball. So he does do a lot of things for our team, uh, even when he's not scoring the ball. Defending the three, was that was that your team or was it just them like, kind of missing shots in the perimeter? Well, so our focus going into this game was really to guard the arc uh, because that is one thing that Eastern Shore has actually done really well. Uh, they were leading at the half at Oklahoma, and the reason was because they shot the ball so well. Um, they have six guys that they play regularly who are all threats and deep threats. Now, as far as them not shooting well today, I'm going to have to watch the film before we take credit for it. Um, my guess is they probably missed some open ones. Uh, Coach, someone who was able to take advantage of the minutes that he got, Joel Soriano, looked good, had a couple good possessions down there on the post. How valuable is it to have two guys in Onye and Chuba and know that you can come off the bench with a guy like Joel Soriano who can do it on both ends? There was that one possession, got the block, ran down, Jalen fed him, got the easy dunk. How valuable is it to have that guy coming off the bench? Well, I think the way to say it is that Joel's growth is really important for our program. And what I mean by that is, you know, he is 6'10", he is long, he is athletic, um, he's got great tools, and now we're just helping him to grow into you know, who he's going to be as a player. So uh, he's going to be an incredibly important part of this program. And to see him have some good moments today was great. Uh, also, he joined the block shot party. So that's his first block of his career. And it's something we've been asking for from him.